All right, it's now time for interactive. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play or the App Store, and you can watch a variety of live sports action while on the go and communicate with us through the live chat feature. Also, be sure to check out our clips on X, Instagram, and YouTube. And remember, in case you missed it, with me is now on Sportsmax, Scene TV, and YouTube. Okay, so let's start by taking some comments from Monday's segment discussing the JFF and Reggae Girls Ampas. So Colin Clark says, JFF must understand that all of us are different. Some persons will put up with foolishness, others will speak out. Skip a tone, the JFF needs to cut their losses and move on. Pap forever, Pap G forever. Supporters help to spoil the reggae girls. They don't have to play for Jamaica if they don't wish. Play with the second string team. Win, lose or draw. Fable MX says, All this chat about moving on is garbage. With all these senior girls, our program is back to 2014 standard. What does Skipper Tone say? Who don't want to come can stay. Let them stay. Alright, user with a long username. Mariah. Didn't Trinidad players mash up their football after they made it to the World Cup and believe that they weren't getting enough reward and then things went downhill? All this isn't surprising. The girls will think that they are bigger than Jamaica. The JFF and Jamaica should not succumb to the blackmail. We need a fresh start. The old squad is too poisonous to continue with them. Let's focus on these players who want to represent the country in the proper way of international football. The main purpose of international sports between countries is to show that we can compete with other teams, with others. A tenet of Jamaica's Football Federation's mission statement is to enable that our countrymen can compete internationally to show their talent, not for it to be a job. Oh, wow. All right, so this one was for me. Yes, Trinidad and Tobago players did speak out. And of course, well, we are in a position now where, you know, we're rebuilding and we're trying to get back to that um, level that we used to be, like World Cup level and all of that. Now, for me, just because Trinidad and Tobago had a similar situation and the football is damaged, I think we should actually look at neighboring countries and learn from situations like that. We shouldn't try to be like another country um, if you feel that, you know, the, the football is not how it should have been at this particular stage. And for me, you know, calling the girls poisonous and I think sometimes our viewers get ahead of themselves, some of them. And to me, that comment was uncalled for. I really think it was uncalled for. I think the the matter, the meat of the matter right now is having the two parties involved come to some sort of agreement, Ricardo. But I don't think, you know, calling one poisonous and saying negative things about the other one will create any sort of resolution. As a matter of fact, that user that has no name is actually being worse than what's happening right now and i think you know they need to come to some sort of compromise compromise is the way forward yeah the Poison. only thing i'll say i just want to see the best possible reggae girls team on the field that's what we all want that's all we we want mm. anyways yeah that was a lot for me to respond to i don't like those type of comments we're out of time so i'm wishing you our lovely viewers a beautiful evening and don't forget to tune in tomorrow our show our show will be 4.30 p.m. Um, Jamaica time and, of course, 5.30 in the rest. 5.30 ECT. I was still not to say the rest of the Caribbean. Have a beautiful evening.